some of our state's top law enforcement leaders say that educating inmates will make our community safer. And anchor Beth Fisher now reports on a program that's raising the bar behind bars. Rebecca Schmidt has never been more excited about her future. She's taking classes at the College of Southern Nevada in construction management and apprenticing with Labor Union 872. She's also finishing up a prison sentence. I've made mistakes, but I know that I deserve a better life. You should know a few things about Rebecca. She says she was sexually abused as a young girl, bounced around from foster home to foster home, and spent her first night in jail at the age of 15. I'm like really, really, really good at messing up. Now what else can I do? Well done. This is exactly what I can do right here. So this is new and it's exciting and it's motivating. Rebecca is like the vast majority of inmates who want to change. They just don't know how. Enter the College of Southern Nevada and Hope for Prisoners. They're teaming up to bring an education to inmates so that when they get out, they're employable. If you talk to employers, uh, one of the challenges employers have right now is getting skilled uh, workers in, in a skilled workforce. And what, what a better opportunity than to connect individuals that want to work uh, and give them the skills that they need to be productively employed. Inmates can choose the college route or vocational training. Either way, they're preparing for a law-abiding, tax-paying life on the outside. Providing them with the skill set so that they can be um, gainfully employed and fast-track right into the middle class. That's Rebecca's dream. She's not afraid of hard work. She just needed someone to give her a chance. It wouldn't be easy because of the gap in my work history and because I am a convicted felon. Um, it's not it's not as easy as when you have these people uh, when you have hope for prisoners behind you. Beth Fisher, you know, I've been waiting a long time to do this. Raising the bar. Well, about 60% of inmates who started with CSN are still taking college classes or even working. Well, CSN's president says the program is doing so well that WGU Nevada and also Truckee Meadows plan to also start offering classes to inmates. And we need your help in raising the bar. We are looking for members to join our advisory committee. We want community leaders, teachers, parents, and anyone else who has ideas about how to improve our education system. Just send an email to raisingthebar at ktnv.com and be sure to include your name and phone number.